Why thousands of British could rule millions of Indians? In the words of K.K. Aziz, British conquest of India was not the victory of an industrialized state over an unindustrialized one. For at the time of the conquest, Britain was in its infancy as an industrial society. It was the victory of a stronger, determined, homogeneous, united nation over a weak, supine, heterogeneous, disunited society without a vestige of patriotic feeling. What interest could South India have in saving the tottering Mughal fabric from European traders and adventurers? The North did not even take notice of the advent of a new race, so busy was it in holding a precarious balance between the Pathans of the frontier, the Sikhs of the Punjab, and the Talpurs of Sindh. Ambition and lust for power had split the once great Mughal state into shaky governorships and petty kingdoms which fought and struggled for supremacy as if the fates of empires were at stake. The Indian masses lay as dormant as their arid soil, with no undue attachment to the man who ruled over them and no undue fear of the future. It did not need exceptional strength or rare acumen to bend such a country to one's will. Since long ago it had learnt to bow to every masterful traveller who chose to hold it in bondage. It is nonsense to say that British rule was based on fear and coercion. A few thousand cannot rule a few million if the will to be ruled is absent. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media and support at Patreon. Thank you.